How to identify hickory trees Hickory, belonging to a section of the walnut family, is a canopy tree that is prevalent in eastern North America, although other species of hickory have been known to exist in Europe, Africa and Asia. The hickory tree produces a dense, strong, and shock-resistant wood that is commonly used to make tool handles furniture, and decorative architectural elements. In addition, many types of hickory are sought for use in the content and preparation of food, and can be useful in survival situations. These guidelines will help you identify any hickory tree, so you can get to work on whatever you may need it for. Part 1 Hickory or Not One, look at the leaves. Features that differentiate hickory leaves from the leaves of other types of trees are, several long, narrow leaves that grow from each stalk. Leaf size, depending on the species, a hickory leaflet may be anywhere between 2 inches, 5, 8 centimeters, to 8 inches. 20, 32 centimeters, long, serrated edges. Some may have sharply pointed teeth, others more rounded serrations. 2. Look at the shape of the stalks. Hickory leaves grow from a distinctive stalk, or riches. Hickory riches features include Anywhere from 5 to 17 leaves. Leaves that grow in directly oppositional pairs, perpendicular to the stalk, with a single leaf protruding straight from the end. Visibly larger leaves near the end of the riches. 3. Look at the bark. Hickory trees have bark that forms ridges in a vertical pattern. These ridges may be shallow or deep, far apart or close together, but always vertical. Additionally, some hickory bark becomes raised at the plate edges as the tree matures, and eventually flakes off, from top to bottom. 4. Look at the nuts. Hickory nuts have a woody outer shell, or husk. This husk starts out green but will harden to dark to light brown with a seam around the middle. The thickness of the husk can vary depending on species, but the nut inside will be white or tan and roughly the size of a gumball. 5. Look at the pith. The pith of a tree is the central column of its branches. All hickory dress have a solid, tan, five-sided pith. Look at the end of the branch where you cut it from the tree. If you see a five-sided or star-shaped tan center, the branch meets two of a hickory's requirements. To see if the pith is solid, cut off a small living branch and slice it in half along its length. If the branch is solid with no midsection that looks like a sponge or a honeycomb, the pith is solid. Part 2 Identifying the Type of Hickory One, Identify a Southern Shagbark Hickory, Caria Carolini Septentrionalis. 2. The southern shagbark grows in limestone soils. Its leaflets are jagged edged and come to sharp points, and grow 5 to a riches. Shagbark twigs are thick and brown, and the bark is scaly and raised at the edges, giving it a shaggy appearance. The fruit of the shagbark, which grows to between 1, 2 inches, 3 centimeters, and 2 inches, 5 centimeters, long is oval and round, and is covered in a thick, dark husk. The shagbark nut meat is sweet. 2. Identify a bitternut hickory. 
Cariacordiformis. This species grows in the moist forest, also called steam banks. The leaflets, which grow nine to a riches, are broad and smooth around the edges. The bitternut hickory fruit grows to be between 0, 8 inch, 2 centimeters, and 1, 6 inches, 4 centimeters, long, and is enclosed in a thin, dark brown husk. The kernel is bitter. As the plant's name suggests, bitternut twigs are slender and green, and have distinctive yellow buds. The bark of a bitternut is light grayish brown, and does not split deeply enough to flake. 3. Identify a pignut hickory, Caria glabra. Pignut hickory trees grow on broad ridges. Their leaves consist of five sharply pointed, serrated edged, dark green and shiny leaflets on a short riches. The thin pignut husk is light brown, and the round fruit, which grows to be about 1 inch, 2, 5 centimeters, long by 0, 8 inch, 2 centimeters, wide, is a similar light brown twigs are slender and a dark purple to a light green. The bark of a pignut is deeply recessed and scaly, but does not flake at the plate edges. 4. Identify a kingnut, shell bark, hickory, Caryale sinuosa. The shell bark grows in wet bottomland forests. Its leaflets are waxy and medium green, and come at least 9 to a riches at between 1, 8 inches, 4, 5 centimeters, and 2, 6 inches, 6, 5 centimeters, long and 1, 5 inches, 3, 8 centimeters, wide. The fruit of the kingnut is the largest of the hickory species, and is enclosed by a thick, dark brown husk. The kingnut produces a sweet kernel. The twigs are thick, with round bulbs. The bark of the kingnut forms long, narrow vertical scales, which peel off from the top and bottom. Five, identify a red hickory, Caria ovalis. The red hickory grows on slopes and forest ridges. Its leaflets are green and red, slender and tapered, and grow five or more to a riches. The edges of the red hickory leaflets are smoothly serrated, as opposed to the sharp teeth of the pignut and southern shag bark. Red hickory nuts are 1 inch, 2, 5 centimeters, to 1, 2 inches, 3 centimeters, long and 0, 8 inch. 2 cm, wide, round, light brown and thin shelled, and have a sweet taste. The husks are thin and dark brown. Red hickory bark is rough and deeply ridged into narrow vertical strips, but the bark does not scale or flake. 6. Identify a shag bark hickory, Caria ovita. Shagbark hickory trees grow in various environments, although they thrive in drained areas. The leaflets are light green, short and rounded, with pointed tips, and grow 5 or 7 to a riches. The nuts of a shagbark hickory are 1, 2 inches, 3 centimeters, to 2 inches, 5 centimeters, long, light, brown, thin shelled and sweet tasting, and are enclosed in a thick, Brownish black husk. As the name suggests, the shag bark tree is characterized by thick, scaly bark, giving the trunk a shaggy appearance. 7. Identify a sand hickory, Caria pallida. The sand hickory has matte, light green, narrow, Pointed and smooth edged leaflets. The nuts are the smallest of the hickory species, averaging only 0, 5 inch, 13 millimeters, to 1, 45 inches, 37 millimeters, long, 
with thin husks and shells and light colored nut meat. They are also round and covered with fine hairs. The nut meat of a sand hickory is sweet. Sand hickory bark is relatively smooth and forms a compacted network of shallow furrows. Eight. Identify a mocker nut hickory, Caryotomentosa. Mocker nut hickory trees grow in dry land, on slopes and ridges. The leaflets are waxy, medium green, wide and rounded, and grow seven or more to a riches. The edges of mocker nut leaflets are softly serrated, with dull edge teeth. The fruit of the mocker nut is relatively small, at only 1, 5 inches, 3, 8 centimeters, to 2 inches, 5 centimeters, long, and contained by a thick, dark brown husk. Mocker nut bark is characterized by deep, vertical furrows that are close together. The bark may also begin to furl at the edges and flake away as the mocker nut reaches full maturity. Tips don't try to crack the nut open with your teeth. Use a small rock or a vise instead. Once you've identified it as a hickory, don't be afraid to taste the nuts. No hickory nut is poisonous, though eating large. Amounts of a species that tastes bitter is inadvisable.